they did one quick sound check. Another one. Okay, we're gonna try this directional. One more play. Let's see how this sounds. Okay, let's check this.
Hi, good morning. Trying a, diff a slightly different setup today. I bought a Blue Yeti ages ago, and I forgot that I had it. So we're gonna try that today. I know I need to find, or I need to look up how to adjust like the settings, cause like, I like it, it's reliable, like it hasn't cut out or anything. It's just an issue of, I don't like how like, luckily, luckily it's like, so, we'll see how it goes today. Yeah, today we're going to be jumping into probably the last day Mario Kart for now. Um, we're going to be doing all 48 tracks at 200cc. And I was practicing with the other day, and like, I'm alright, but like, it's definitely a lot more fun than 150cc. So, yeah, that's fun for today. I'm not sure if I'll have time to do art today either. Um, I'm still working on pop for the next game that I'll play, so we'll see, we'll see. I don't want to do that on stream because I don't want to leave it, so. Yeah, so that's the plan. Okay, so similar to yesterday, we're going to do custom race. Still want to main Isabel. <laughs> No more cards. All forty eight. Go. So, yesterday when we did one fifty mirror, I did all forty eight and only got second one time and then first all the other times. So I don't think we're going to do as good <laughs> or even close to yesterday, but we'll see. So I know most of the lines, it's just a matter of getting used to the speed. I need to get used to drifting earlier. This is... I think this is going to be probably the easiest track of the day. Be nice. W. One first place on the board. <laughs> Hope we get more W's. Oh, I forgot I can skip that. <laughs>
oh man. Okay, not too much loss. We're gonna cap this back up. He took literally all the boxes. Who always takes my frickin' boxes? No! Come on. I cannot get seven. Oh my god. Oh, I think that's like the biggest. How have I ever gotten? Oh no. The fifth up there. <laughs> yeah, right now I'm just tallying what place I get. <laughs> oh no. I got screwed at the end there. This track isn't as bad as others. Look at it warm up. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go. Nice.
Oh my god. <laughs> Still to make control, and I thought I had no controls on. I haven't used it in ages. Oh, I forgot to put the other first on the board from Indie Track. That's we got two more first. One L. And there's gonna be more L's. I'm gonna try to avoid them, you know? Come on, come on. Woo! That one is in with a close one.
love this drug. The lines are so fun to do. But that line is definitely harder, it's 200. A lot harder. I'm more like this one. Like S shape there. That boost did not help me. I've grown to hate the mushroom. right there Whew, okay we're fine I'm so used to not having my hair down it's so weird So we're not used to it. Uh, missed me. Oh, I was trying to go for the strut. <laughs>
Nice. Doing surprisingly well. I honestly thought I'd get more L's. I mean, we're only, what, eight tracks in? So... Yeah, I can't be talking too much. <laughs> Oh, I did not. <laughs> I thought that was a mushroom. Oh man. Oh, frick.
Nice. Another one. I think getting a fifth is a lot sadder than all first and a second. Or, I don't know. All sad. Luigi fell off. I hit myself. Come on. Really? Okay, that turn is extremely hard. Like, you gotta make sure it's tight. Was rough. I actually like that stage a lot. Oh, this one's gonna be rough. I'm hitting literally every tree.
Oh my gosh. That one is so difficult. Lines were okay though. They were alright. I'm honestly really tired today, too. Because I'm working on... Um, prop for the next game. Which is gonna be, um, Super Mario Odyssey. So that'll hopefully be launching Monday or Tuesday. Depending on if I can get the prop done or not. Which I should be able to, it's just gonna take a long time to get done. Um... But I was up to one working on it last night. So like, I'm at the point where like, if I can't go to sleep, I might as well be doing something, you know? Oh, oh, that was close. Oh my gosh. No! Dude, come on. Okay, third is fine. My goal today was try and get at least third in every race, so that's fine. I'm in fourth. Oh my gosh.
Oh, I knew it. Oh, come on I had I had boost oh no oh. oh no We got one eighth on the board. Let's go. I didn't mean the boost there. I hate the boost sometimes. Oh, I probably hit someone the last time, so I guess just like that again. Surprisingly, a W.
-mm. It's because I went on the lower track. I usually go on the top track, so I don't know the bottom line as much. Oh my gosh, I thought there was an edge there. Those red lines were a little bit better. Oh my gosh. I did not like going in that top section. A fifth. Sad. I just want the majority of my wins to be first, at least, with this run. <laughs> Nice.
I should have thrown a head. <laughs> no. Oh, come on. No. <laughs> I had it. I had it. That was close. Watch that round. I just gotta check something real quick.
I knocked my headset out. <laughs> Oops. Nice. I suck at these lines so much. Oh my god. What's going on? Hey, good morning, Shady That Kid. This place looks kind of chill. Yeah. It's pretty aight. I, I think you mean like the stream environment, but yeah, I'm usually pretty chill. Um, I usually do gaming and art stuff. But today is probably gonna be my last day of Mario Kart, so I'm probably starting um, Super Mario Odyssey next week. Oh my gosh. Hope you're doing well today. Sounds fun, mate. Are you British? <laughs> yeah, cause um, right now, I finally got gaming set up, so I finally did gaming content last week. And I have some previous VODs up on my channel and clips, but like, the concept I was doing is I was doing a run where I was trying to get all gold trophies in 50, 100, and 150. And it's actually in the background on the left corner of my cam. For every pop that I got all three all three C season, I would add a pin to my hat. So there's a couple clips of that up, I think. So because what I want to do for any gaming content is integrate like something art related or a prop into it. I'm not British, but these YouTube videos have given me a hang of talking like this whole time. I know, right? <laughs> you just pick up slang as you go. Really fun. Okay, we got a W. First place. Um, it's to the right for me. Really? It's over here. Back here. I can actually show it a bit closer if you want. So we completed this on Wednesday. So each pin... Let's go to full cam. There we go. So each pin represents a different cup. She's not focusing. But yeah, so we completed this on Wednesday. And we're probably starting Mario Odyssey next week. That cap looks so cool. Thank you. I made it myself. You know. Okay, back to Switch again. Um, yeah, because I got a hat and then I painted it and then I made the pins myself. I got a button maker, so it's actually kind of cool. Lots of first places. Yeah, I'm honestly like kind of good. I don't know. I mean, I'm not. I haven't tried online yet because online is kind of scary. But I'm just playing against the computers right now. 
Looks awesome, Mick. Thank you. Oh, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, I was gonna say, I forgot, but like, yesterday I did 150cc mirror run. All 48 courses, kind of like what we're doing today. And I only got one second. Like, it was so hype. I got 47 first and then one fucking second. Frickin'. <laughs> I, I do curse sometimes, so if you can't handle that, I'm sorry. I'll try and tone it down. Um. Anyways, I haven't touched online, because I still need to work on my lines. Like, I don't want to go into online, like, absolutely sucking ass. Like, I kind of want to be good. Like, I like boosting my ego. Oh my god, the wrong way. Yeah, I haven't practiced many tracks at 200cc, but like, at 150, I'm pretty bombed. I need to get better at that cut. Cut is so much harder at faster CCs. See if I can. <laughs> I don't know if there's any cut nearby here. I can use this shroom on. I'll just use it there. Oh no, wrong decision. Oh come on, come on. No. Oh my god. I had it. I had it. Bro. <laughs> no! I know, right? Sag. I should try online whenever I'm comfortable. Aw. It's not about competing, it's about having fun when playing games. True. True. Honestly, like, because when we first got Mario Kart, I'm gonna mute real quick because I don't want- or actually, it's I. You'll just hear the clicking of my mouse, because I got a new mic today. Um, it's a Blue Yeti, it's kind of shit. But I need to figure out what settings I need to adjust, because, like, I kind of don't like how it sounds, like, kind of muffled or echoey. So if anybody has any tips on it, like, help me out. But yeah, because, like, when we first got this game, when it came out, like, we played it all the time, me and my sister. Um... And then I never played it, and I only played it again maybe starting two weeks ago. And I think I'm pretty good, honestly. Like, after this run, I might do a couple 150cc to practice some lines again. Oh, uh, this, this line is very hard. Because just in general, I've gotten better at my turns. Like, being able to switch between drifts quickly. But at 200 cc, it's a lot harder. I just have to remember that breaking is key. I almost had it, almost had it. see your messages I, I, I will read them in a second I'm just I'm concentrating <laughs> like honestly I don't know how people can like play games and like read chat at the same time it's insane because I just have my laptop right now I don't have like a hard drive PC I would like to get one at some point but you know money's running low 
But like, my gaming laptop is pretty tight. She can only handle so much though, but... Love her so far. Get a W? Nice! I'd advise you not to spend a lot on setup, honestly. It's more about the craft of streaming than what specs a person PC has. Yeah, honestly, I agree. Um, I agree with that sentiment to an extent because... Um, how's I doing? We're adding a W to the scoreboard. Because, yes, like, setup is not as important. Like, I think personality shines the most in terms of content. But I know for me, like, I like when stuff looks good. I like when stuff sounds good. Like, I had a Bluetooth mic that I was using yesterday, but, and it sounded, like, so nice, so clear. But the issue was, it would, my computer would overheat through stream and then it'd start glitching. So I need to troubleshoot that some more. I, I, cause, like, to me, I will always prioritize, like, audio stuff, cause I cannot handle when, like, an audio video sounds like shit. Like, it irks me the most because for me, like, I will usually, like, you know how old people put their TV on all day? Like, I just have, like, Twitch streams just, like, playing in the background on my TV usually, like, when I'm at home. So, like, I don't usually pay attention to visuals as much, but, like, if the audio is good, then, like, I'll stick around. But that's just my opinion. And, like, I'm trying to learn, like, basic production stuff on my own, in terms of, like, editing, lighting, that type of thing. So, like, I kind of always want to push myself and learn something new. Because so I'm studying on graphic design in school right now. So I'm hoping when I do stuff on my own, I can implement whatever skills I've learned on my own into any professional workplace I may have in the future, along with schooling. Oh, come on, I haven't gotten that. I've used that four times. I read all your messages after this race, I promise. <laughs> I'm, I'm low-key a chatter too, like... Uh, like, I, I, I enjoy bigger streamers, like, my favorite has got to be, like... Like, Ludwig or Hassan. But, like, I'll still pop into, like, I'll go into, like, random like, art tags or gaming tags and look at, like, zero viewer streams and, like, chat. Because, like, I really like... How oh, frick. Let let's try the cut. Let's try the cut. I've never been able to go for that cut. Uh, anyway, so, like, I'll go into smaller streamers and just chat. Because, like, I think it's cool. I really like the one-on-one -on -one engagement you get from smaller people. Or, like, very small chats. Because it feels so much more, like, intimate, I guess. Oh, let's get a W! Nice! Okay, I'm gonna read all your stuff now. <laughs> um, Especially during the time when there's a price hike for everything in the market. I know, right? Like, s stuff is so expensive right now. Um, I live in the US, so, like... I feel so bad for the people who live in, like, Alaska or Hawaii because they have to import everything, so everything is hella expensive. Like, my grandma? She lives in Hawaii, so like a gallon of milk is sometimes like ten dollars. It's insane. Um, multitasking while streaming comes with practice. Don't worry. E, I'll I'll get there. I'll get there. Like, I'm low key ADD, but like not ADHD. So like, I <laughs> I usually don't talk unless I'm talked to. So like I'm fairly quiet. Um, your phone always keeps running. All day in the background, yeah. Like, I have my TV on. Like, all day. And, like, I wonder why she- Cause, like, sometimes my TV- I got it a year ago. I bought it new back in March when, like, lockdowns were first starting. Like, me and my sister were both like, Dude, if we gotta stay home, we, like, we gotta get a bomb-ass TV. But, like, as of recently, like, It'll just turn off for a second and then turn back on. Like, I haven't, like, dropped it or anything. Granted, I did accidentally, like, throw something at it the other day because I went to like set my controller down like on because it's on my dresser and oh, right 
Like, I went to, like, set my controller down on the dresser, but I threw it by accident, and then, like, it hit the TV. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't crack or anything. But it just, like, it made that part of the screen turn black for a second, and then it returned to full color. Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm sucking right now. Yeah, I've had, like, my TV turn off one time during the stream. Like, the TV turned off, but, like, the game was still going. So, like, thankfully the capture card was still working. I was like, oh, that's weird. I hate this track, like, honestly. Well, surprisingly, we caught up. I can hear someone walking in the hallway and it's scaring me. It's probably my mom, but still kind of spooked. Oh my god, I'm sucking right now. Ooh, can we pull through? Believers? Nice, nice. Oh bro, you be spamming. <laughs> It's fine, I'm a chatter too, so like... Okay, let, let, let's scroll up, let's scroll up. <laughs> um... I don't have enough USB ports for a mouse on my laptop, and it's low-key annoying. Like, I have to use the touchpad, and I hate it. Um... I also look for streamers with less viewers, or those who are just starting. They need the most support of an audience, honestly. Yeah, I, I agree. Because, like... It's fine, like, broadcasting to no one, but, um, like, it's nice to even just have one person here. Like, y you feel, like, validated, you know? Um, that first boost is important for building confidence, for sure. Like, one of my OG viewers, because I started streaming about a month ago, like, I went in her chat, and then she went into my chat, and, like, we both broadcast just about every day, and we're like, we're in each other's chats every day, and it's honestly really sweet. Like, that's what I love about Twitch, because, like, you you watch content and you engage, so it's a lot more involved than just, like, watching YouTube. Because you get, like, live reactions or, like, live commentary to your comment, and it's amazing. Like, I only recently got into Twitch, but it's great. I love it. Um... There might be a dangling speaker wire, maybe. Maybe, like, I, because I, I was doing a couple tests earlier, so if the sound sounds off, tell me. Um, and I'll try and troubleshoot for next time. Um. <laughs> it's fine, don't worry. Nobody's born a pro at games. Practice makes a gamer perfect. Honestly, yeah. Facts. Like, I don't... Like, I'm not the type to rage at games, so, like, I will just be like, eh, next time, you know? Humans are scary sometimes, honestly. Yeah, like, we have squirrels in our attic, too, so, like, I'll hear them scurrying in our walls, and I... Ugh, oh, and they always do it at night, so, like, I'll hear, like, a scratching sound. I look like they're gnawing at the walls. You're a very chatty person. Lol, same. Same. IRL kind of quiet, but, like... Um... I'm fairly chatty online too, mainly because like I'm lonely, but you know. <laughs> Sounds so wholesome, yeah. Um her username is Yana. She's in my suggested streamers. She's super cool. Really funny too. And what I liked about her, cause that day specifically I was perusing the art tag online or on Twitch. And like I would say like, hey, or hi. And like there wouldn't be too much engagement, but she was actually like bantering back and forth with me so she's she's really fun to engage in with chat like she'll always have something like collaborate to say back so check her out she's great i 
it's so nice because there's so many different personalities on this site. Like, you'll never know what you get. How did you find me though? Did you like just find me in the tags or from like another platform or something? I assume from tags, but oh my god! Are <laughs> right, you guys see me play one fifty? I be smoking everyone I'm an L streamer right now L streamer L's in chat let's go I keep on saying I keep getting L's but like I have a fairly good amount of first place in this run Whoa, the camera angle is so whack there. Oh, she's gonna get quick whacked. <laughs> oh, this is the lap lap last lap. Sad. second today. Ooh. Wait, I got first? No shot. I thought it's in second. Anyway, okay, cool. Got a W. Okay, let's catch up. You're really chatty, Shady. Can I call you Shady? Oh, I was just thinking of Eminem song. I was gonna sing it, but you know, don't want to get clapped. Um... I'm the kind of person who just doesn't have anyone to talk to, honestly. Well, same. Because, like, I hate, like, texting people. Because low-key makes me anxious. But, you know. Um, anyway. So I just come on to Twitch and go to streams and talk to people there, honestly. So one way or other, I get my social interaction. Yeah. It's nice, because, like, the whole community is revolved around, like, interaction. Which is really, like, wholesome. Uh, I'll check her out for sure. Yeah, she's great. Like, she might be here later because <laughs> she's a night owl, so she doesn't get up till like 11, which is insane to me. Like, I wake up at like 7 o'clock on the dot every day almost. Uh, you're looking for Mario Kart streams and yours was second to top. Epic. So you joined in. Nice. Thanks for stopping by. Um, no. No L's, only W's today. Like, honestly, like, I I think I'll still be able to get um, first place overall for this run. WW streamer. <laughs> um, hey, you can call me Shady. Who, my real name is anyway really difficult to pronounce. Stop and bye, mate. I'm here to stay. Ooh, nice. You can be, like, one of the OGs, you know? When I get famous, you can have that clout. I need that clout. Like, I've always wanted to be like... I- I would love to see, like, everyone... become successful in whatever they want to pursue. Like, that's just, like, the most... amazing thing to me. Like, I'm the kind of person, if I watch a video, and, like, it's emotional, like, I'll cry. If they cry, I will cry. Man, I traveled far with that jump. So, like, I don't. My opinion on like, like I would like to be able to do this not full time, but just as a hobby and get some type of monetization. Cause like ultimately, I don't want to. Cause making content is fun. Like honestly, engaging with people is really fun. But like, I would like to. Like my dream would be to have like my own private business, have a product or a service. Like, that's the goal. Okay. The plan is simple. Um. Build a following, release a product, and make millions. That's my plan, boys. Oh, Sag. Okay, only lot two. We're doing fine. We have a 
massive lead, so we'll be fine. Hey! Hello, War Vinci. Vinci? Hope you're doing well today. Haven't seen your name before. But glad you're here. Yeah, just doing a 200cc run for funsies. Because we were able to complete my uh, going for gold challenge this week. Frick! Like, I usually have some type of like stake or concept in my runs, but this one is just for fun. See how well overall I can do at 200. So I aced. Like, I'm a pro at 150, basically. Oh, come on! I'm so close! Oh, come on. No, no, no. Okay, we good. We good. Another W. <laughs> You'll make big bucks under my name, yeah. Just steal my clout. You're taking Twitch as a hobby, you still gotta be consistent, make it interesting. Audience retention and making millions a month isn't that easy, man. I know. I know. That's why, like, I'm not pressuring myself too much. Like, my schedule right now... I have it on my about page and in the schedule tab. I'm starting at 10 a.m. PST with gaming. And then... For, I do not like this track either. It's... Too many turns for me. Anyway. And then art in the afternoon. I don't know if I'll be able to do art today, because... I have a lot of work that I have to do later. I have to actually work on the prop for the next game. Which is probably going to take like 20 hours to make, so... <laughs> but I've been fairly consistent ever since I've started. I've only missed one day. And that's because um, there was a... A family emergency. Or not family, but like... Oh dude, there was like... Um, there was an evacuation order in our city. Because there was a gas leak, so it's like... Great. Um, so that was the one day I missed, because, like, we were gonna die if we stayed home, but, you know. <laughs> oh, hey, thanks for the follow. Um, uh, I'm, I'm looking at chat, oopsie. War Vicky, I appreciate it. Yeah, so we usually do gaming and then art, like, drawing, illustration. I kind of want to get into stamp carving, but if you're doing stamp carving, you ideally want to make your own illustration first to carve. So I have to think about what I want to make. Ugh, I was gonna say that line is gonna be so good. Okay, we're got a fairly large lead, so we should be fine. Does online just do 100 and 150? Like, are there 200 CC matches? Like, in random lobbies? I haven't, doubt I haven't touched online at all. I've only seen other people play. So, I'm not sure. Oh, frick! I think it's funnier to say frick instead of F-U-C-K. <laughs> to me, it just has so much more creative value. Oh my gosh, I almost had that line! Okay, we're fine. It's gonna be another W for sure. Let's go. Mm. Okay, one more first on the board. Okay, let's catch up with you chatters. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's been three years and I'm still trying to understand how YouTube, Twitch, monetization, content creation, uh, audience interaction works. And I still haven't understood it fully. Mostly because I don't create content myself. Yet. Okay, that's probably why. Like, it's an aspect of numbers, but also, um, I think with Twitch, you're more dependent on like your personality and if you engage with like the people who come into your chat. Like, I know me as a consumer, I do not like when people ignore me or like if they don't banter back and forth. Like, if I like try and make a joke and they're just like, haha. Like, I like that continuous conversation but like back and forth that's what i really like personally because like <laughs> um let's see what i'm gonna say yeah let's see 
What city am I from? I'm not gonna leak that. Not doing that. I'll I'll tell you I'm from Washington State. Okay. There wasn't it wasn't really a gas leak per se. It was a fire and then it led to a gas leak. So you know. Do you play online? Yeah, I haven't touched it yet, mainly because, like, I still need to activate my online account. I kind of want to try... Yeah, spooky stuff. It was scary, man. Anyway. Um... I want to practice a bit first before I do it on stream, because, you know, I want to, like, look good. On stream. Like, I don't want to keep getting L's. But, let's see. You got a Switch yesterday, and I've been getting destroyed. Oh, dude, that's so cool. Like, is it your first time getting the Switch? Because, like, I honestly love it. Like, I... My first console was a Wii. So, like, I grew up playing baby games. So, like, I haven't played any, like, traditional, like, FPS. Like, only, like, kidsy games. Um, but, yeah. So, you've gotten Mario Kart. Have you gotten any other games? Like, I really like RPGs. Um, Breath of the Wild is really good. Um, let's see... I'm gonna think of what else. Odyssey is really fun. I'm gonna be starting that next week again. I've, I got through halfway through Odyssey, then I got bored. But I want to do a completionist run, so we might be starting that next week. Mm. You like playing against real people? Yeah, true. I, I like the idea of playing against like people online, but also like I'm scared of it, because like, I know they'll be better than me. That's why like I feel good playing against computers, because I'm like, oh, I keep winning, but it's because like the computers have like a limit to how good they can be, you know? Happens to me, but soon you'll be the one destroying others. Aww. It's, it's nice that you're so encouraging, Shady. It's really sweet. That's nice. I, I love when I see, like, chatters, like, talk to each other. Because, like, I'm that chatter, too. Like, I'll, like, say hi to people or names that I recognize in chat. Like, it's, it's so nice because, like, to me, Twitch is, like, kind of like a glorified chat room, basically. And it's epic, you know? Um... Basically USA, right? Good enough for me. Yeah. <laughs> Are you not from the States? Like, yeah, I'm from Washington State, not Washington, D.C. But <laughs> I think it's more fun to watch than regardless of how ranking you are. I get it, though. Yeah. Like I said earlier, like, it depends on the personality. Like, if the person doesn't want to engage me, like, I'll leave, you know? But, like, I don't want to keep, I don't like seeing L's all the time, you know? <laughs> uh... Mm. Even she thinks getting destroyed is cool. Yeah, it's epic. It's epic. Same. Got Mario All Stars as some sixty four of my was my game or GM as a kid. Yeah, I really wanted to play like retro games, but like I can never get into it because like I was standard. Like if a game doesn't look nice, then like I can't justify play it because like I have like an artistic mind. So, like, I appreciate when stuff looks good. I appreciate good level design. I appreciate good character design. Mainly because, like, I'm kind of studying right now. So I'm like, oh, if it looks like shit, then, yes, there's limits to, like, what someone can do in terms of rendering. But there's, like, um, like, a standard to what it should be, you know? Even playing on an emulator, I wanted something mobile. Oh, nice. I, I, I think I want to... Download an emulator of some type. For myself. <laughs> Too busy talking and it grayed out. I'm more of a PC person mostly because Switch is sold two times the retail price in my country. Oh my god. That's insane. Like, where are you from? It's crazy. Yeah, that looks alright. I went and got my hair done for like the first time in four years a couple weeks ago and she told me, do not put your hair in a bun. Because what happens when you put your hair in a bun is, like, when you, like, wrap your hair around, the, the tips of your hair, like, rub against each other, so that's when you get more split ends. But I'm, I'm gonna go grab a scrunchie. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. It's like my hair is fully dry and I hate it. You just hate how expensive Nintendo is? Honestly, like, any game you get now is hella expensive. Like, to me, it kind of makes sense. 
because with video games, they release, like, they only get their money back once the product is sold, right? So they have to invest thousands or sometimes millions of dollars into production costs. So in terms of, like, paying the creators, paying for the software, paying for, like, an office space. So it kind of makes sense why they are expensive. But then you also have to take in consideration, like, what the profit margin is. Because if you sell a million units for $60, that's $60 million. So therefore, um, even if production is a million dollars, the profit margin is insane. So, also in my head, I can kind of justify it because if I'm paying $60 for a game, you know, let's say I have a job, right? So minimum wage in our state is a little over $13.50. So if I can spend about five hours of work to buy a game that's giving me like a hundred hours worth of entertainment, to me that's a fair trade-off. Like, I will gladly pay however much if it's going to give me that much time of like having fun, you know? I mean, that's just how I see it in my head. Also, like, when I was little, we didn't really have any luxuries, because, like, we were the kids who qualified for, like, the food drive. I don't know if y'all ever had it if you were in India, but, like, they'd have, like, annual food drives, so you'd bring in, like, canned goods into school, and then they donated it to local members in the community. And food bank, right? Like, my family, and at some point when I was little, we qualified for that. Um, so, like, we didn't have many luxuries, so, like, when I started working... Since I was out of high school, like, having money for the first time was great. Like, also, I had no idea or concept of, like, how much things should cost. Because <laughs> in my head, more expensive means more better, or better product. So, like, I would gladly, like, I don't mind paying, like, a little bit more for, like, delivery or a little more for, um, like, food. Like, I don't care. Like... I mean, it's just filling, like, the big man's pocket, you know, making him more money. But it's also like, why not? Like, it's not like I'm spending money all the time. Like, I'm trying to limit myself on how many extra things I buy right now. But, ooh, another W! Another one. <clears throat> you know how expensive every Nintendo game is? $60 for every game really adds up? Honestly, yeah. Like... I mean, how long does a game take to beat? Like, this game, I've invested maybe a hundred hours? Because, like, for me, I only play one game at a time. Like, I can't, like, comprehend playing, like, three games at a time. But I will usually, like, beat one game and then start the next one. So by the time I have one game done, I have enough money saved to, like, buy another one. But that's just how I am. Uh... Nintendo copy strikes everything. Yeah, I was looking kind of scared, but like, I've been uploading my vlogs onto YouTube and none of them have gotten clapped yet, so I think I'm fine? Question mark? I know that was more of an issue like two, three years ago, like more people were getting claimed. Um, Nintendo's milking Mario the same way how Marvel is milking Spider-Man at this point, honestly, yeah. I mean, I love Mario games. I think they're fun, like, why not? I mean, it's about content. As long as it's not crap, then like, I'll buy it. From India. <laughs> the soon to be turned North Korea with a sprinkle of Hindu terrorism. Oh, the cow is God. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Love some commentary, you know. Um, honestly, pay seventy dollars for a game like GTA Five or Fall Guys, especially with so much content. But for Nintendo, I'd honestly rather wait two years to emulate it. I kind of get it. Like a lot of Nintendo games are like kind of for babies. Like they're not too like complex. They're not like, too highly rendered in terms of graphics. So, I get it. I think it's good if you got a kid, you know? But, are you getting Mario Party All-Stars? I want to. I want to get Mario Party, but, like, I have no friends. So, like, I can't wait to, like, get to the point where, like, I have, like, a small enough niche audience to, like, play games with. Because, like, that seems so much fun. Like, I love the idea of, like, playing online with people. 
that I kind of know or like that I'm familiar with. Like that seems so fun. But let's see. I'd rather go to a thrift store for a dollar worth t-shirt than buy the same t-shirt with a big freaking <laughs> Gucci Prada logo on my ass for fifteen hundred. Yeah, honestly, like we went to Goodwill, which is a secondhand store that you donate to and then they resell. And I got some pretty sick items. Like I got no, I bought this new. Never mind, take that back. But I got a pretty nice button up. I got a nice zebra print shirt. Like if you can, like buy secondhand. Um, GT is great, and at least they reduce the price after a few years. You get a first fifteen bucks on this. Yeah, I think it makes sense to lower the price after release. Like if you have PlayStation Plus, I think it is. There's, there's two, like, monthly subscriptions where you get, like, a free game every month and then online. And then there's one where you have access to, like, all previous PlayStation titles. Like, I think that's really cool. Like, my sister, she's playing, um, the first Red Dead right now through the PlayStation Premium program, I think. <laughs> they gave out the game for free for a whole week, two years back. Sounds about right. I mean... For, like, the pay-to-play games, like, it makes sense to, like, offer it for a lower price, that way they can make more money overall. But... I remember that lol, didn't have a PC at the time, though, rip. Sag. <laughs> Missed the deal. Don't really have any friends. Lol, same. But I enjoy playing with strangers on Discord. Yeah, like... Like, honestly, online communities are so nice. A lot of people are, like, so, like, kind in general. Mainly because, like, we're all seeking that connection. Like, I've only had, like, good interactions online. Like, I'm actually, like, genuinely really happy. Like, I don't go out much, but, like, still seeing that there's, like... I mean, there's always someone to talk to online, and it's really nice. Oh, Nintendo games are for babies. Does that mean your kid is a baby? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> the whole so, yeah. I really call them baby games, because that's what Hassan calls them, and it's so fucking funny. But thank you for calling me cute. Okay, back to game, back to game. <laughs> Who's he talking? We three can be friends, I guess, in that case, what you say? Maybe, we'll see. Show up tomorrow, not tomorrow, I'm not gonna be on tomorrow, I'll be back Monday. But, cool. I would like to see, like, returning people. Once I get online set up, I'll definitely share my friend code for a switch. Oh my god. <laughs> this is another track I do not like. Oh, no. I think we're only halfway through this run. I do not have a speech impediment. <laughs> Just can't talk. Whoa, I almost went over. Okay, I guess there's a cut there. I never saw that. Just hit everything in our way. I'm also breaking way too much. Looks tricky, yeah. Like, I haven't practiced a lot of the later stages. But this one, like this section right here, always gives me. Because, like, I really like the um, S shaped turns or the U shaped turns. But when they're too zigzaggy, they always throw me off. Because those lines are a lot harder to learn, also, a lot harder to drift. I mean, it's nice. This stage in general is really pretty because it has a lot of different textures, different environments. So I think it's well designed. It's just hard to play. 
We're like, oh, frick. Hard to get good. No. Well, let's get second, at least. Nice. Pulled through. I don't want to go, but I also need to go because I need to keep hours. No, that's fine, man. See you whenever you stream next. Me, don't give up and all the best. Thank you. I appreciate you stopping by. Really fun to talk to, man. Thank you. But you sleep well, okay? I think we got one. I forgot. I think we got one second earlier, but I forgot to put up there because I was too busy talking to y'all. There you go. So that's updated. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 24, 6, 8... 30, 31 tracks. So if I did, according to my calculations, we should be on the 33rd race right now. Unless I counted wrong, but you know. Okay, which race is this? I gotta sleep earlier than usual. I start work at 120. What do you do, man? Well, 31st? Oh, bro, my math is really off. It's midnight for you? Oh, yeah, bro, go to sleep. <laughs> go to sleep, man. <laughs> but what do you do where you start at 1.30? That's crazy. Like, my sister, she works at a, a packaging and manufacturing place, and she starts work at 6.00. But like starting at one, it. You work for Amazon? Oh frick! What do you do there? Like, are you a, are you a driver or packager? Do you ever see like those robot workers, the robot dogs? Oh no. <laughs> I've heard good and bad stories about Amazon. I've had a couple friends work there, and they said it's I. I lost six places there. Oh no. I hit myself twice. Ooh, save. Ah, uh, still third. That's I. That's I. Let's see, so that was the 31st. We have 5, 10, 15, 20, 24, 26, 27. Oh, I missed another race then. So I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 24, 26, 27, 30. But I missed a race. Let's just add one more tally to first place. <laughs> Let's just say we got another W. Fake news, I'm lying. Okay. They have different facilities. The really big ones with robots are fulfillment. I work at a delivery station, which are smaller operations. Okay. You get to drive and stop the count. <laughs> stop the steal. <laughs> I, I freaking love the hog memes. They're great. Okay, this is my second favorite Rainbow Road. It's not bad. I like having a three day. Yeah. 
I think three days should be the standard because like for a lot of people who have like families for instance like if they got kiddos then the weekend is like the same as like their children right like it's hard because like you still gotta do laundry you still gotta do housework on your days off so like having that extra third day like you'd actually more likely to have like a full day to rest Like my sister, she's on a schedule where she's working 40 hours, but only 40s a week, so four tens, and then occasional extra shift on Friday, so she gets a solid three day and she loves it. Yeah, actually doing fairly well at this track, like, surprisingly. Please. Come on, just L after L on this one now. Everyone's fairly close behind me, but I think we should be able to pull through. Oh no! Okay, I spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Ah, freaking fourth! Sag. Okay, so let's add a fourth on there. <sighs> Okay, Let's see if I can grab this one. Okay, there we go. They're not lined up on the column but that's fine that's fine it's a good work-life balance in my opinion yeah it's nice that you do get that three day like when i was working because i'm not working right now like i'm trying to focus on school i'm in college not high school okay i'm over the age of 16. <laughs> or I'm, I'm, I'm 22 so you know i'm not a child but um like when i was working the food service job like i was working Almost every day, because I was management, so like if someone called out, then I'd have to go in, you know? Which I didn't mind doing, because you know, overtime is epic, but like overtime at food service is still not good wages. Especially for like all the responsibilities that I was doing. Anyway, so like I would work most of, most of the time, like every day. But it just became the point where like it was too much, and working during COVID was a lot of stress on its own. Like just having to deal with the public sucked. But I learned a lot there, honestly. Like I liked it till I didn't, you know. What I mean? So like when I was working at that job, like I had no like personal life or balance at all. Like I'd be on call, I'd be getting texts from people calling out or like something happening at work, and it's like, dude, like how do y'all know how to do your freaking job? Like good service is like I wouldn't say like the easiest job. Like it's not that hard, like honestly. Like if a kid can do it, like <laughs> how can like I keep on pressing break by accident because I used to have um, what's this called? Auto accelerate off, but now I have it on. Just pressing one less button makes it a lot easier for me.
Oh, come on. Oh, dude, I almost had it. I almost had it. Yeah, the food service industry is rough. Yeah, for sure. Because I've had three jobs. So, um, I had a babysitting job, which wasn't really like a job because it was under the table. And then I had <clears throat> a daycare job. And then two food services because I worked at a subway. I worked there for three years, that's when I recently left. And then at a pizza place. So I've only really had like entry level stuff. Which is good. Like I think it, it definitely teaches you a lot. Like I think everyone at some point should have a job where you interact with the public. That way when you go out yourself to get something to eat or go out to like buy something, you understand what it's like. Cause like you're always gonna have some rude ass people come in. Like, I had some whack anti-masker people. <laughs> I think the most surprising thing to me was working, like, doing management as well. Especially in food, like, a lot of people did not want to wash their hands. Which is like, well, <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? Like, literally, you're handling food. Like, I had people, like, talk back, and I'm like, oh, I don't need to, it's like, bitch. <laughs> Especially during a pandemic. Like, I had one girl, <laughs> Loki, she's kind of ditzy, but she went to take out trash, and as she, like, went to put the bag in the can, she, like, pulled down her mask, licked her fingers to, like, kind of separate the plastic, like, you know, when you, like, separate paper. Licked her fingers, went to separate the trash bag, like, put the trash in. It's like, one, you're taking off your mask, that's bad. Two, you just touched trash and now you're touching your face, you're licking your fingers. And, like, people wonder how, like, disease spreads. It's just dummy dumbs like that. Okay, another W! But yeah, like, I, I like, bitch off, but I was like, I was like, okay, let's, let's take a second pause, like, this is what you're doing. This is why it's wrong. Do not do that. Oh my god, kids, man. Sheesh. Fucking dumbasses sometimes. Get one more W. I worked at a luxury theater that was provided alcohol and dining service. I mainly got stuck busting entire theaters since I was too young to run alcohol. I busted my ass working there, but luckily my coworkers and management were fantastic. It was a great learning experience. Yeah. To me, also, like, the workers make the environment. Like, if you have a shit manager or, like, really, like, catty co-workers, it ruins it. Like, it ruins the whole thing. Like, I've had some pretty sus managers. <laughs> sus. Um. Like, when I was management, like, I tried to be the manager I wanted to be under, you know what I mean? Like, I was usually pretty chill, I didn't yell at people, because yelling is just so degrading. Um, oh my, what was I doing there? Well, like, I can work at any place, I would think, but if, like, the people are rude, then I'll, I'll just get a new job. Like, I don't, I don't want to deal with drama. Like, I was not the kid who, like, participated in drama in school. Like, I hate it. It's like... I'm here to do a job, I'm not here to, like, gossip or drama, you know? Like, there was one point where I was basically harassed by another coworker, and I wasn't taken seriously, but... It's unfortunate that if a workplace dynamics, like, exploit others, but... I just hope we'll get to a point where, like, no one can get hurt wherever they go, you know what I mean?
And like when I say harassed, it wasn't anything crazy. It was just like, basically the situation was, it was an older coworker who was female. I'm female, right? I identify as And she would like hug me and kiss my forehead. And like, at first I didn't mind because like, it felt like, you know, like, oh, she's my grandma. That's cute. But also like, if this were like an older gentleman or like someone younger, would this be appropriate? And it's like, no, because it should not matter your age, race, gender, whatever, on, oh, frick, come on, but like, that type of behavior should not happen at all, it was not consensual, right, especially in the workplace, so, like, I went and told my manager, and, like, this individual, she was friends with the manager, so, oh, really, had it, um, I reported it, and, like, she got a write-up, but, like, she kept touching me, and it got to the point where, like, I told you to stop, how about you stop, you know? And like, at that point, like, I just didn't feel like, respected in that workplace. But, yeah, like, bad people ruin the workplace. Like, there needs to be a lot more training on, like, workplace etiquette, harassment, that type of thing. It should be required for any workplace. Because in that specific workplace, there was no training. I don't know how much training would have helped in that situation, because with Older folks, they're like, see now. Yeah, I don't remember to add a third place to the board. Let's do that now before I forget. Um, but yeah, world sucks, man. Anyway, back to Happy Mario Kart. <laughs> um, yeah, I was really grateful for everyone there. It was taboo to say that's not my job. Yeah. But everyone was helpful. When she did the fan, it was all hands on deck. Oh, that's right. That's nice that you guys have that dynamic. Like, I was never the type to be like, oh, it's not my job. I mean, I was definitely like that when I was like younger, younger, like teenager, but like in the workplace, like, why not help each other out? Like, if you're like the busser or whatever, like you can help with dishes or like if you're trained, like why not cross train, you know? Because you don't know, like, who's going to call out or, like, if someone needs help. See if I can get her. Ah, I missed. Um, do I use the pro controller? I have a pro controller. I would, because, like, I know it's, like, Kind of not cliche, but like a lot of people are having issues with the Joy Cons, which we were kind of experiencing a couple months ago. So, we, me and my sister both got some Poke Pillars. And like the feel of the Poke Pillars is a lot nicer, in my opinion. Like, I love it. I kind of, <laughs> funny story, um, I'll show it on cam in a second after this race, but like I got a new case and it's a hard case, so you're supposed to like unscrew it and like internally take it apart and put it on. So I got the case in the mail, and it came with, like, a really crappy screwdriver. But, like, the metal attachment wasn't strong enough. Like, when we tried to screw it out, the metal attachment would <laughs> bend and break. So we got a nicer screwdriver kit, and the same thing happened. Because the screws in the Pro Controller are, like, insane. They're really high quality. Because you're not supposed to take it apart. <laughs> so we were able to get them, like, half unscrewed. But, um, oh, oh, let's see if we can clutch. Oh, nice. Okay, so we can add one first and one third. Because we got third last time. Oh, dang, yeah. Uh, let's go to full cam so we can actually see it. Like, you can see there's, like, tape here. Because we were able to halfway unscrew them. Um, so yeah, so they're still kind of like the, what would you call it? The grips are like the slightest bit loose because we couldn't get them all the way back in. Um, yeah, I'll probably just get like a different color. Like I kind of want to get the gold or the pink one. Do I play Roblox? No. <laughs> Do you play Roblox? <laughs> are you a Minecraft stan? <laughs> Like, I said earlier, like, I appreciate stuff that looks good. 
Roblox is kind of meh. It's not pretty. Not a stand though, lol. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. I know everyone was going for Connery's pants a couple days ago, and that was kind of sad. But, um, what am I doing? I think I tried to get into Minecraft, but like, I think like pixel art is kind of not my thing, personally. Like, it's a bit too simple. I usually like abstract. It's fun though. I get. I, I I like watching people play sometimes. Like, I won't watch streamers play, but like if there's an edited video, then I'll watch that. Whoa! I've not gone in this cut in a long time. In a long time, not a wild time. Eesh. Really? Um. I would play more like online games, but it's just a matter of like. Not having time. Like, I'm not working right now, but. Just like trying to focus on streaming more, making art more, and then school is a lot. Because when I was working, I never drew. Never played games because I didn't have any time. But now I have so much time, it's great. Like, I have time to actually take care of myself. Oh, that was a weird jump. Do I study? Right now I'm in online university for graphic design. Because as I said earlier, master plan. <laughs> Gain the audience for these product like millions. So like if I ever do launch a product, I'd want to design it as much as I can. Because I think product design is really interesting in terms of like packaging or developing molds and stuff. Like I'd like to be able to design my own graphics. Um, I made my overlay setup. Like, it's fairly simple, but I like the theme of, like, clashing, like, natural and, like, modern aesthetics. Because I chose, like, the the cream green to make it look like neon lights. I could add a glow effect, maybe at another point, but I didn't want it to, like, pop too much. I used to do, like, illustration. I really like abstract pattern work. That's why, like, if I ever do stamp carving, I'd want to make, like, a tile print. But yeah, I, I have, I think, eight to nine months left of my studying. Oh, I love this track. I don't know if I'll be good at it, though, at 200. I was not gonna make that. Are you in school too, though, with Vora? Can I call you that Vora? Or do you like Vora Vinci? Whenever I see a name, I usually. I will usually like to say the first like part of it. War is preferred. Okay, got it. I'll keep that in mind. I like how you said preferred. It's such like a regal word. I prefer. It. <laughs> but you're fine. Oh man. You're not sure what you'd want to invest your time in. Like, are you in school or out of school right now? Oh, you said you're working. No, duh. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot I have link. I think before you do college, or if you're ever going to pursue, like, a higher education, you should know what you want to do. Because there are so many people who go to school just to go to school. And I was kind of one of those kids. Like, I studied computer animation initially, and then I dropped and then changed programs because I just realized that I didn't like this. So I think you need to find like it's a cliche to like do your passion right but like identify what you like and see what you can do like maybe volunteer 
maybe try to do like odd jobs, find people you like, find interests you like. Because especially now, oh, what place did I get? Oops. <laughs> I don't know what place I got. <laughs> oh man, I, I did not see. It's okay. Well, let's just say that was a third. No, it's probably a fourth. Let's be honest. I was really behind that round. Yeah, same thing. I was in school for database management and I didn't like it at all. Like, who honestly really wants to work like an office job? Like, I know that was the standard. Like, up to- why am I pressing break? I know that was like the standard job to stable, you know, make good money. But like, I want to have a job where, like, I'm gonna have fun, you know? Or, like, make the most fun of it that I can. Because, like, when I was in the computer animation program, like, it was a lot of, like, tedious computer work. Because, like, most studios are not looking for 2D animation. I mean, granted, a lot of 2D stuff is done digitally now, but animation is a lot of tedious work. And if you're working for a studio, you're not necessarily making what you want to make. That's why I like the idea of having my own company, then I can just do whatever I want, you know? There was no notification for that. Like, literally none. Okay, it's fine. We're just in third, that's fine. Oh no. Okay, we're in second. No shot, I'm getting first. No shot. I think second is fine. Second is fine. One more kind of W on the board. Okay, we're still in first place overall, so that's really good. Oh frick. <laughs> Sorry, I looked at your message and I fell. Not blaming you at all. <laughs> uh, do I do more digital or more traditional? I used to do some digital. Like, I used to do it back in high school, but they were really cringe. It was just simple, like, line art, simple fill. So nothing, like, with, like, realistic renderings or shading. Um, I haven't touched digital in a long time because I personally really like the feel of, like, holding a pencil or holding a brush. Like, it feels a lot more... I guess tangible is a good way to put it, because like you're using like, it feels real. So right now I'm primarily working with India Ink, which is a really nice medium. If you do art at all, tell me what you do, like I'll check it out. Um, it's really nice because it's usually used for like line work, and India Ink it dries basically instantly, you can make some really nice gray tones, and it's really good for if you're going to use like brush pens or watercolor. Because it's not water soluble, so if you paint on top of it, it will not bleed. So it's really nice for like. It's usually used for like traditional manga because we use it for like line work. But yeah, I I mainly do traditional right now. I want to dabble into like sculpture or 3D work because I think 
I really like the concept of like planning, like how to do a 3D render or 3D sculpture. Usually it's a lot more involved than doing like a 2D piece. Because with 2D pieces you have to learn like different values, different shades, how to render. But like with sculpting or 3D, you have to like learn how to manipulate items. Like it takes a lot more planning, which I think is really fun to do. Like the prop that I'm working on for the next game, Odyssey, which hopefully will be done in time for Monday or Tuesday next week. Like I came up with the idea. Oh, that was the last laugh. No shot. Okay, we got another second. Oh man. I mean, majority first this run, so that's pretty tight. Uh, anyway, so like the concept I have for it, I'm not gonna leak it now. Like I want it to be a surprise next week. Um, but, like, I came up with the idea for it at, like, midnight the other night. <laughs> and then I was too tired to, like, actually, like, write it down. Oh, fuck, I hate Baby Park. I mean, it's fine, it's just hard. It's, it's fully dependent on what items you get. Anyway, so, like, I was laying in bed until, like, 2 a.m. just thinking about it. Like, oh, I can use this medium, or, like, how will I make that shape for that form? Like, what materials can I use? And it was just fun thinking about it. So like, I would definitely like to get into sculpting or like clay work more. Cause my sister, when we were both in school, like I was proficient in like pottery class, but she was like god tier. Like she made this really awesome bike sculpture that was like six inches tall, about eight inches long. And it was amazing. And I tried, like, doing a little bit of, like, play work a bit ago. And I was working way too small and I was getting frustrated. Because with play work, you have to learn how to, like, manipulate your tools and, like, move your hands in a way to make forms and shapes. So it's a lot harder to do than, like, traditional 2D work. One at first? Good. Never mind. <laughs> oh, come on. Bruh. <laughs> no. I think, honestly, I know it's cliche to blame the controller, but like, my B button is kind of sticky. Like, anytime I press it, it holds a bit longer than it should. And we got a freaking seventh. Oh, that's sad. Okay, let's add a seventh counter to the board. Okay, we got one seventh. Sag. Seventy eighth place. <laughs> Okay, let's hope we don't get any other places because they're not all gonna fit. <laughs> I look so scuffed. I promise my stuff will look better. I am in graphic design school, like. <laughs> well, we got six races left. Nice. Run's almost over. Come on. Yeah, my B- okay. I'm not lying. My B button is really sticky. Oh, 
Oh, it's weird. It doesn't tell you what B does. Okay, okay. What is going on? Okay, we're gonna change. Yeah, I'm trying to reconnect and then... Disconnect my controller, because no shot, like I'm not lying, it was really sticky. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to switch it back to the game. Oh, come on. No. Ooh. It pulled through. That one is rough, man. After that controller hiccup, bro. I was like, no shot. I'm gonna catch up. But third, pretty solid. play games on PC as well? Not yet. Um, I just got my gaming laptop, so like, I kind of want to get into more PC type stuff. Like, my first console was a freaking Wii, so. <laughs> um, I don't personally really like shooters, because like, um, when there's too much like stimulus or like too many like controls, like, it gives me a headache. Like, I cannot handle, like, racing, racing games. Like, you know, the hyper-realistic, like, car ones. It's too much for my little brain to handle. <laughs> but I would like to get into some PC. I really like RPGs. Like, I love Stardew Valley. I definitely want to play that on stream at some point. I'm still working on concepts for a prop idea for that one. So, I really like RPG stuff. But if you have any recommendations, tell me. Oh, come on. Bruh. <laughs> oh my gosh, this track. I've been taking a break from competitive games. I get to tow to not enjoy my experience. Yeah, well, same. That's why, like, I would never play anything that, like, pisses me off. Like, legitimately. Like, I wanted to try Bloodborne, but I know that one would make me mad. 
Because, like, I, I play games to, like, cool down. Like, calm down. Like, I don't want to play stuff that's going to make me get upset. <laughs> Believers? Ah, dude, so close. Almost pulled through, so close. That's why, like, I don't like watching, like, FPS gameplay, too, because, like, you usually get, like, really pissy. Like, rage content is funny sometimes, but not when they're raging all the time, you know what I mean? Because, like, seeing people get, like, angry for frenzies is funny, but, like, when they get, like, legitimately upset, I'm, like, I'm concerned. It's like, this is not good for your mental health, man. Play something else. That drift was sick. Sally, that's how are you? It's okay. Like, some people handle things differently. Like, it's okay to rage, but like, just make sure you're like, you're healthy about it. Like, if it's getting to the point where like, you're getting too upset when you're playing or like it's st staying with you like after you're done playing then that's a problem you know it it's good that you're identifying it though identifying that it's a problem and taking a step back because there's a lot of people who don't realize their actions or how it may be affecting others that's why like i myself i'm, I'm like i'm just not going to touch them <laughs> Yeah, I love the shark. I think this is my favorite one. Mainly because I love oh, frick. I love Animal Crossing. When it came out last year, oh my god. It's safe, bro. Ooh, pull through. Yeah, it doesn't stick with me. It's just for the moment. Then I'm good when the next one comes. Okay, that's good. <laughs> you just freak out for one second. You're like, ah, and then you're fine. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I have never broken a controller. Like, if any time where, like, I get upset enough, I'll just, like, drop it in my lap. Because it's, like, there was one kid who lived down the street that we were, like, kind of friendly with. And he was playing games in the living room. And he threw the controller at the family TV broke the controller and the TV. It was grounded for like three months, I think. But like, I would never want it to get to that point. It's also kind of like, I'm just not going to put myself in that situation. Like, the ink, like, I'm not an angry person. Like, it takes a lot to like, even like, perturb or annoy me. Cause like, I'm, I kind of have the mindset where like, I'm my own person. I'm not going to let what you say bother me too much. Like, the only time I got, like, legitimately angry was my sister. This is when I was, like, um, 14 and she had to be, like, 13 or 12. Like, she'd sleep with a nightlight on, or, like, a lamp on. And the lamp, it was one of those cone ones, so it had the bulb and then a plastic cone around it. And I hated that lamp because, like, whenever you'd put it on, the plastic would get really warm. So what she did one night... So I woke up at like 5 a.m. smelling like smoke or something burning. So I was like, uh oh. So I went into her room and she had put like a towel on top of the lamp, on top of the plastic cover. So like the towel was burning. Like not on flame, but like burning. And we were like, holy shit, right? So like I was like 
I won't really get upset if you're like endangering yourself. Like that will make me mad. Um, so like I started yelling at her because like I was upset because like she could have burned the whole house down, right? But um, so like I like yanked her curtains down, and I accidentally pulled too hard, and I <laughs> I removed <laughs> I yanked the um. Uh, what's it called? The curtain rod from the wall. So like I removed it from the plaster. <laughs> so and we never fixed that curtain rod. So it was just always like lopsided from that point on. Yeah, but after that I was like, there's no way like I'd ever want to like actually get upset. I don't ever want to like break anything or hurt someone. Oh, come on. Bruh. Kind of an L, but it's fine. Fifth is alright. Ooh, Luigi is not that far behind me, though. 504 to 570. He's rotting my ass. So I don't have Switch online at the moment. Not now. I'm, I'm probably gonna get it soon though, like maybe next week or the following. Because I know if I want to practice online a little bit. I might do it on stream, but I'm not sure. Because like all the online players are usually so good. I know you said you just got a Switch, right? Have you gotten online yet? I think you said that earlier, sorry. <laughs> My short-term memory is shit. Do you play any, like, PC or any other consoles? Because I know I have- or my sister and I share. Yeah, I know for sure I wanted to play online. Yeah. See? Okay. Because we also have a PlayStation, and she and I just finished replaying Ghost of Tsushima, because when it came out about a year- yeah, a year ago. Like, we only got halfway through the main story. So we finished playing it together, and it was really cool. I really like Tsushima a lot, because I don't like games with guns in them. To me, like, guns are scary. <laughs> so, um... I really like Tsushima because a lot of the combat was like sword or like melee. So like it seemed a lot more like mm, not realistic, but like to me, I don't know. Melee seems like a lot more humane gameplay. I don't know. Where... Oh, come on, I can't get freaking six. Sad. Okay, let's add a six to the board. Okay, we gotta shift everything up. <laughs> I was totally prepared for this leaderboard. I was gonna make a graphic for it, but it was just gonna be for today. So I was like, nah, don't wanna spend 30 minutes One-sixth. I'm so cramped, dude. <laughs> you 
you like do commissions or anything like that as a side job? Not right now. I think before I want to take commissions, I want to just increase my skill set. I do have like my drawings on IG primarily or Instagram. If you click or type in exclamation Instagram, it'll have a link to it. But I would take commissions. It's just like with commissions, people are like too like like picky on what they want. Like even when I'll make something for my mom, she's like, I'll have like concepts of what I think will look good. She's like, and then she'll pick like the ugliest one, and it's like, because <laughs> like when you're a designer, you have an eye for what's good in terms of contrast, color, composition. And like people who don't make art don't understand it. Or they not they don't understand it. They don't have like an eye for what inherently looks good. And it's it's just funny. Like it makes me frustrated sometimes because like I wanna make the best product that I can, but if what you're asking for is not gonna look good, it's just like discouraging for some reason to me. Cause there was a point like I think oh frick. Um, there was a point where, what was I going to say, I was, when I was doing digital art like three years ago, I was taking like drawing requests like online, and a lot of people, because it was free, right, like it wasn't like they were paying for it, but they were all like so like particular and picky, and it's like, come on, like one guy was like, it's not good enough, and it's like, bruh. I'm freaking 18, like, I'm not a pro artist, like, I'm a bit nicer. <laughs> oh my god, this track is so hard at 200. Insane hard. I have not been able to do this line at all. Through believers? Okay, fifth is I. It's I. How many tracks do we have left? I think we're almost near the end. Oh, it is the final one. <laughs> I have gotten a lot better at Big Blue just in general. Like, at 150, I'm, like, proficient at it. The 200 is a whole nother beast. I mean, the one thing I do like about 200 is that, like, if you find yourself, like, at that point going on the opposite directional path, or, like, in terrain, like, you're not that much slowed down. Oh, there's a cut there. Saved. Oh no, I'm still on full lap. We got him. Nice. Final W on the board.
Nice. Pretty alright run, honestly. Gold. Nice. Oh, we got exactly 600. That's so cool. Now we like crushed everyone else in terms of points. Solid 60 point lead. Nice. I know like the numbers are off. But like 30 first place is pretty good. That's 30 to 48. 10 out of 16. 5 out of 8. A little over half. It's not too bad. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna end the stream here for today. I don't have any art time for art today. I will Monday though for sure. Are either gonna be doing more India ink illustrations or maybe a different medium. We'll see. Also, probably gonna be launching Super Mario Odyssey last week or next week as well. So that'll probably be starting then. Oh yeah. Um, thank you to anyone who tuned in today. I appreciate. Oh, let's see. Find your names. Shady that kid, and then Vora of Vora Vinci for popping in today and the follow. I appreciate it. Was really nice chatting with you guys today too. It's so nice to have someone to like bounce off of. Oh yeah, cool. Enjoyed my stay. Yeah, thank you. Um, that's kind of like the vibe you'll get in general for me. Like, kind of calm. I'll, I'll be kind of chatty too, because like my normal schedule for right now is two hours of gaming from ten to twelve, and then twelve to two is going to be art or drawing. So that's kind of like what you'll see from me. But yeah, thank you. I hope you enjoyed your time here today. And I'll be back Monday, 10 a.m. PST. So yeah, hope you have a great day. Bye.